All right, I meant to make this a first clues channel. And I was just going to skip recording this. And I was almost going to skip doing it. But, uh... Just for posterity, let's record what I did. It was this party. Yeah. So the first attempt I ran didn't work because I didn't bring enough defense. Then I brought more defense. And we won. This guy counters? I'm not sure exactly when. He countered me on turn nine, so I figure it's on turn three, six, nine, etc. I'm not sure though. I forget if we actually need to hard cast relief zone. Um this was the key, just bring death. That was important. Sarawin, I did not give him a dark sword, I gave him the Rimber uh, G sword. Cause, uh... Well, he's just gonna charge up with that, and then he's gonna start dealing uh, strength attacks, so it doesn't really matter that these don't do a lot of damage. I also don't remember if making Mirsa use Heroic Stance made any sense. I don't know if I did that this morning. But uh, we survived that at least. So... Well, I guess I kind of don't want to have... Right, with that, with, that, with that end buff strip, we probably don't want to use... Oh, you know what? We probably want to sneak these Merciful Aids in next turn when Mercer's not healing. Yeah, we, we probably don't want to hard cast Relief Zone because it's just going to get the end component stripped off of it, right? Anyway, we just got to survive until Sarwin charges up. And uh, as long as Mercer keeps trying tanking with his intrinsic, that's uh, pretty handy. And then caps everyone off to full. That's pretty cheesy. Well, we'll test my theory if it's uh, on the three turn that we uh, get countered. It's every even turn, odd turn. Okay. In that case, if we are gonna cast Relief Zone, we should do it on the even turns. Ready to start ripping into him. I don't know why I'm thinking so much. That wasn't. That was like Maria instead of death. And that's it, right? It's just death brings so much damage mitigation. Like, that's just it. And, um, did anybody use a direct attack there? I guess they didn't. So I guess I didn't find out if. The uh, divisible by three turns are the counter turns. Um, anyway, we're going to SBL. And we're not going to bother with the end buffs there. 
we're just gonna throw in with this combo, because who cares? Oh. No, we're not gonna blow OD yet. Next turn's gonna be a big damage turn. Well, that's that was a lot of damage. That's that's a big damage turn for Antonius, huh? Yeah, um, Rasm was crit HP for a second. I guess, I guess he got better. This is an odd turn, right? What does he do on the odd turn? Strips in buffs. Are we gonna just ignore that? Because we probably wanna use... This doesn't give us any buff anyway. I don't want to waste the heal part. All right, lock it in. That's my final answer. Okay. Chase. Or don't. I don't care. Whatever. Just keep tanking with Intrinsic. That's fine. Yeah, Rasm's getting hit harder just because... Well, he's an MR, so he's weak against Slash. Just 800k out of a combo. Just 800k damage outside of a combo. That's all. That's all Sarwin's doing. Yeah, keep, just keep hitting Mirsa. That's all I want. That's all I could ever hope for. I guess they use normals just for more OD gauge. I'm sure there's like one skill or two out there where you'd rather use than a normal when it's free to get more OD gauge. I don't know, that seems almost too good for a skill that would cost zero VP. There is no way, actually, any of those S1s that are free give you more OD gauge than using a normal. I wouldn't think so. Just 
hit him hard. This was the correct order this time. Very nice. Just almost a million in a three-man combo. Just casually, almost a million with one attack. That's that's all Sarwin's up to. This is the, the turn I mentioned when I did this earlier. We got countered on. Ah. It's indirect, sure. So Mercy's the only one that's gonna get countered here. That's direct. Okay, and Sarwin can get countered, I guess. But we've got that dark barrier, it don't matter. See, he's deflecting. He's gonna counter. So he does it on turn nine. And presumably turns before nine. Those hurt, but I guess it's not that big a deal. We still, sur we still survived? Yeah, we still survived. I think we're in that Rising Phoenix X, but it's not the one, it's not Rising Phoenix X, it's the one with Endurance. Because I don't think Antonius is actually landing status. So I think all we care about is endurance. They needed to give us a reason to buy that new formation, right? You know what, we can just save this. No, I don't like it. Let's let's just get a, a Let's just burst in a heal. That's fine. I guess Death can just throw in. I gotta go look back at this now that I've recorded it. See if I used any direct attacks on turn 3 and turn 6. I'm not sure what the pattern is with when Antonius decides... I know both runs, he decided to counter on 9. Other than that, like, I don't know. It's probably every 3 turns. I don't know, though. And now we just win, right? We're just done. I'm not going to take a screenshot. I don't care. Um, I wanted to see how much Sarum was going to do this turn. <laughs> He does a lot of damage. I liked grabbing Sorrowin. Even though... I don't know that we've actually faced a, a Shadow Week boss since he came out. Maybe we have in the permanent attacks. I haven't been keeping up with those. I'll show you what I used. Notice Marissa had a pretty pink dress on. That's very important. All right, see you later.